Hi, my name is Mabel, and this is Seals of the Great Waters. lived on a sleepy white planet called Bop Planet. Bop Planet was a very quiet place with many soft and squishy farms. Every morning before the space sun came up, Mabel Bot and Ospo would wake up to feed their horse bot named Sally. Then they would three get out, go out to the field to pick and plant space peas. One morning, Sally looked very sad. Mabelbot asked her why she was feeling sad. Um, she said, I got a space letter today from my cousin Allie who lives in the space forest of Great Ox. Allie said that she really wants to come work on the space pea farm but doesn't know the way. I really want to see my cousin, but I have nobody to help me make the way. I really want to see my cousin, but, oh, sorry, um, George to the space forest of Great Ox. Don't worry, Seth, so, said Ospo. Mabelbot and I would love to go with you to the forest of Great Ox. Hooray, Sally replied. What would be, that would be space-tastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, the very next morning, Mabelba and Ospo and Sally woke up very early and, and had a breakfast of space waffles. They, they packed up their backpacks and started down the long, windy country road. This is going to be a wonderful trip, said Mabelba. Are you sure you're right? You're right about that, replied Ospo. Pass the time, let's sing our favorite space tune, Five Fat Turkeys. And all three of the travelers began the song, which goes like this. Five fat turkeys are we. As the singing friends passed by the neighborhood village of Great Bees, they, they saw an old man who looked very confused. Pardon me, said Oswo, but you seem like something is the matter. Oh, right you are, said the old man, for I have seemed to lost my map, which tells me how to get to the lamp store, so, so I can buy a light bulb to fix my jack-o'-lantern. Mm. Not to worry, replied Mabel Bot, and the three travelers raised their magical bow bar rings to the sky. Um, from each ring came a beam of light, blue, pink, and purple. When, when the three beams um, united, a large map of the space village gray bees appeared over their heads. Um, thank you, Evan, said the old man. Now I see that the lamp door is only one more space block to the west. Oh, what helpful youngsters you are. For helping him, the old man gave Mabelbot and Oswell a shiny doll made out of space stone. Um, well, sir, we are glad to help, said Mabelbot. The travelers wished the old man well and continued along the road. Along the way, they passed many beautiful fields which were blue and purple. Boat peas mean, mean that we are nearly the edge of space for us. The travelers made their way further down the road. Um, the space fields came to an end and found themselves among many beautiful broccoli trees and echo bushes. All of a sudden, a little dog bot ran out from underneath the leaves of a tiny
is a good friend of, of all the space forests. Any friend of hers is a friend of mine. Splendid, said Mabel Bach. There's just one thing you should know. One, one alley. What, what's that? Uh, as a, a spot. Well, in the space forest, everyone has John well. Um, they proceeded along the path. As they approached the clearing uh, in the broccoli trees, a large yellow gold statue appeared. It was built of metal and The giant golden gorilla means that we are getting closer to, um, to my home village of Great Beats. There's only one problem, said Sally. What's that? asked Osmo. I've forgotten where my cousin lives. Oh no, said Mabel Box. Um, just then the travelers came upon a little girl. Why are you crying? Um, asked Mabel Bot. Oh, I've lost my grandmother's birthday present. I've traveled so far to, to buy it for her. Um, and, and I I must have a hole in my pocket for now I cannot find it. I have an idea, said Oslo. And, um, and he quoted um, the doll that the old man Thank you.